introduce Rabbi Ari Lubitz of the Oakland Hebrew Day School, a grantee from last year. Thank you. So uh, first and uh, foremost, I just want to, to thank JAC and the Neighbor Foundation for really allowing us the opportunity to think about innovation in our schools. I only have uh, just a minute or two, and I just want to highlight two things. One is, what does it mean in our school now to be innovative, thinking about what does that mean philosophically, and how has our program and our Innovative Beit Midrash program actually impacted our school? So first, what I want to think about is innovation as it used to be in our school, in my mind, a little bit of a way to fix a problem. And now what it means to me is it's more of a mindset. And what it means is when we say we want our students to be engaged, to have an innovative mindset means we're going to make sure that our students are engaged. We're going to challenge beliefs. We're going to find every stone and turn it over because we have to make sure and we'll make sure that our students are engaged. When we say we want our children to love Jewish learning and love Jewish life, an innovative mindset is not to fix a problem, but it's we're going to see. We're going to challenge every notion, every fundamental belief, and make sure that really happens. And that's what we're doing. We don't see results. We actually have to make change. I'm reminded of the saying attributed to Albert Einstein regarding insanity. And insanity, he says, is when you have a problem and you keep doing the same thing over and over again and expecting the same results, that's insane. Different, Different. thank you. <laughs> yes, I'm glad you're listening, thank you. I need an iPad because I have bigger notes I can see. Um, and the second piece is, so what does it mean to have an innovative culture in our school? And I, I think this is something that has actually been unique for me to experience in our school. We need to have innovations in all of our schools. We need to have innovation on all levels of our schools, not just from an a, a administrative, but all the way down to the students as well, because we know that the results in our school are not what they need to be. And an innovative mindset means we're just not going to accept it. It's no longer, in my mind, a fix to a problem, it's a mindset. And I want to spend my last minute just explaining to you, I think, how that has impacted our school. As many of you know, and I can't explain it now, we put together a, a very disruptive Beit Midrash program in our middle school. And it has had tremendous impact. And I want to first, you know, of course, thank uh, JAC and, and, um, and Dr. Shani as well, because we now have, we're one year in, anecdotal, quantitative, and qualitative data to show and to, uh, to prove that our students are now more engaged in their learning than they have before. We do know anecdotally, quantitatively, that our students are actually owning some of their work. They are part of this innovation culture. They are now saying, hey, wait a minute. We want a course in this. Like, how do we make this happen? They're owning the responsibility. And I, I think that is so, so important to our school. And the second part, which is even more exciting to me, is it's permeated our school. And our teachers, all of our Kodesh teachers, and our whole teachers are starting this innovation mindset by saying, when things aren't exactly the way we want, when the results are not, they're all coming out. Everyone's got an idea in my building now. And we're trying to sort through how to actually address all those ideas and actually make sure that when our mission says, this is what we're going to accomplish, we're really going to accomplish. And I just want to close by saying that innovation can be scary. Innovation can fail. And innovation can take us down uncharted roads and uncharted territories. But I really feel that we are talking about Torah, we are talking about our children, and we're talking about our Jewish future. And so that innovation really means that we can just not stand by with status quo. And it's part of our tough key as educators, as parents, as donors, as a community, to make sure that this idea of innovation as a mindset is prolific in all of our thoughts. Thank you.